Namaste everyone, good morning or afternoon. Uh, welcome to day number four. Uh, for this day, we'll need a block, an actual block, a yoga block. If you don't have a block, go ahead and uh, grab something that you can squeeze uh, between your legs. Um, it could be like a basketball or a soccer ball or anything. Or you can grab a book or something like that. So go ahead and start on our back. Bring your knees up to the sky. Hands up, hands facing the sky as well. And just gently windshield wiper. Your knees to either side, back and forth. Just loosening up the back and the core. Okay, this time, Take the block, uh, skinny side. No, uh, to take it. Sorry, uh, take it medium setting, um, which is if you turn it long wise. Put it between your legs, or if you don't have a block, again, just put anything between your legs. And bring your thighs perpendicular to the ground, shins uh, parallel. Interlace your hands behind your head, and just as we did in day two. Bring your heels to the ground on an inhale. Exhale, back up. Inhale. Exhale. And we'll do that about 15 times. So you want to uh, squeeze the block between your thighs. So you only feel your thighs coming together. Do it five more times. Inhaling out, exhaling back up. Two more times. Drop your feet to the ground. Take the block up between your legs. And rest. You may notice that you feel a lot on your um, in your hip flexors. So just to release that, we'll take a figure four shape. So we'll just cross our right ankle over our left knee. To keep that unit intact, drop over to the left hand side. Place your foot on the ground. Grab your right ankle with your left hand and just push your knee forward. Push your right knee forward. And you should feel some release along the hip flexor here, as well as the side of the leg. Take nice deep breaths. Those uh, deep breaths will help you um, release the tension much faster than shallow breaths. Switch sides, back up. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Drop your left foot to the ground. Grab your left foot. And press your knee forward. Okay, come on back up and feet to the ground again. We'll take our block and this time uh, we'll move our 
arms and upper body. So take your knees up perpendicular again, shins parallel. Squeeze your um, block between your hands. Place your hands over your head, outstretch your hands over your head. And on an exhale, curl everything up and put the block between your legs. Squeeze the block between your legs and take your hands back above you. Exhale, come on back up. Grab your block and take it back. Tap it to the ground. Tap, exhale, back up. Put it between your knees. Hands back to the ground. Exhale, body back up. Grab your block. Tap the block to the ground. And put it between your legs again. And keep going in at your own pace. We'll do that for about 15 more seconds. Last one. I know that was longer than 15 seconds, but it's okay. Take the block. Now, as if you're coming into bridge pose, come into a bridge, uh, light bridge pose and put the block underneath your sacrum. And just rest the bottom of your tailbone on the block. And this is a supportive bridge. And just rest. Two more breaths and then we'll do our last thing for the day. Okay, bring the block out, come back down. And I will kind of tie the movements in. So put the block between your legs, hands out above you. Exhale, curl it all in. Grab the block. Stretch everything out. Tap the hands to the ground. Tap the block above you on the floor. And exhale, curl it all in. Switch. Bring the block between your legs. Take the block in your legs and your heels down to the ground. Tap your heels, tap your hands, and bring it back up. And we won't do too many reps. Back up. Tap your heels and heels. Back up. Back up. Back up. Tap. Back up. Tap. Back up. And one last time. Take a supported bridge or an actual bridge to counter that. So I'm going to take an actual bridge, um, just a non-supported bridge. You could tap your belly if you want. Saying good job. Drop your hips down. Send your legs out. Shavasana. Good job, everyone. And I'll see you for day number five. Namaste.